So the number we're talking about now is 60. Now, it's quite a big number, so you may not meet it all the time, but you do use it a lot when telling the time, because of course there are 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. But why 60? Why this random number 60? Well, it all goes back to the Babylonians. Thank you, Babylonians. Because what they wanted back then is a very nice number that divides quite easily. So if you think about the number 60, what, go, what divides it cleanly? One, of course, two, three, four, five, and six. And in fact, it's the smallest number that's divisible by all of these. Well, why is this important? Because you can take a half of it, you can take a quarter of it, you can take a fifth of it, you can take a third of it. You can divide 60 up in a lot of ways. So if you're cooking in this base, you can cook with lots of fractions of that. So if you don't want to cook a whole meal, you can cook half a meal or a third of a meal or, you know, things like that. It, it, again, if you're telling time, you can have a quarter of an hour, you can have 20 minutes, you can have half an hour, you can have three quarters of an hour. It all divides 60 very nicely. And when you don't have computers, you need a number that you can divide nicely so you get nice round numbers at the end of it so, because they're easier to work with. So, I mean, 60, well, well, why, if 60 is so nice, why do we use 10? You, you just asked my next question. <laughs> Go on, tell me why. Well, the idea is that we use 10 because we have 10 fingers, so you can just count along. As you're a child, you'd count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But what's its thought is that the Babylonians actually counted in, into 60 on two hands. They would use each knuckle on one hand to count to 12 and then count the number of 12s on the other. So you'd go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, one set of 12. And then you do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Two sets of 12. And again and again, until you get five sets of 12, which is 60. Highly divisible, and you can use it on your hands. So when the Babylonians were working with this number 60, they were also very good astronomers. And what they found is that the year is pretty much 360 days. So that's the length of time it takes for the, the Earth to go a full circle. And that's what, why the, the circle is divided up into 360 degrees. And further, each degree is then divided up into 60 minutes. You can have an arc minute, which is a 60th of a degree. And that further is then 60 seconds, 60 arc seconds of that 60 minutes. I wonder if we, we came close to living in a world where 60 became our base. Like I say, it's very, very difficult. I mean, you could write, well, there's 57. We, we use it two numbers. For a Babylonian to write 57, they would have to write one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a lot easier to write like that than that. So these are how they, they drew their numbers because they had little stylus that they would hit into clay and the stylus had a triangular end. So their stylus would look something like that. And so when they were doing ones, they'd use the tip and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 10. And a 10, they'd turn the stylus on the side and create one of those shapes. So each one of those is 10, and each one of these is a one. And so there we have 57. Yep, good. <laughs> That's their version of a Sharpie. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Which is really good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ba -ba 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 